Welcome back to Rednecks Dirty Hands. I'm Pete. This is Christina. And today, uh, we're planning for the winter time. Uh, found a deal on Marketplace that it was just too good to pass up. So today, Christina and I are going to go pick up a new project. Let's check road her out. Trip. <laughs> <laughs> road trip. Yeah, road trip. <laughs> All right. Well, I had a pretty good season uh, with your mama there. <laughs> you know, we hit some good speeds on that, but I've been neglecting my T-Cat. You know, that's where I got the carbureted vector, the 973 uh, CC engine in there, but I've uh, been having some issues. I uh, burnt an exhaust valve in it there, and then it's been sitting kind of idle. The thing was working pretty good, but... I want to do an update to that, and uh, you know we know we can hit 140 with that. Still don't know what we can do with this, so I got an idea to update this. And uh, to do that, Christina and I got to drive to the big old town of Marmara. 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 <laughs> We're gonna go see John out there. He's got something that we want. Well, so Christina was nice enough to bring me a chocolate chill. So let's take our roadies. Let's go. <laughs> Hold on there, darling. <laughs> Yeah, welcome, baby. All right, baby. Fire up the uh, heavy Chevy. And we even got a bag of goodies for uh, John there. We got some shirts and some stickers. We're going to hopefully horse trade. <laughs> like maybe get a bit of a, a deal on this thing. Oh, you're looking good. You ready to go, baby? I'm ready. Uh -huh. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, po po. <laughs> they got a dinosaur museum going up in there. They got their own little Stonehenge too. I didn't know that. Oh, oh it's mini putt. <laughs> Fancy. That guy just hung up my hook up your horny. Big old town of Norwood. <laughs> it looks pretty. <laughs> Pan panoramic. <laughs> Welcome to Havelock. The old town of Havelock. See how muggy and foggy it looks, and that's all from the, uh, the smoke, the wildfires here. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah, like they're in literally Canada's on fire right now. Mm. We're coming close to Marmara. <laughs> Do that again. We're coming close to Marmara. <laughs> Rolling in uh, Marmara now. But yeah, you can see in the distance the haziness from, and that's not fog, that's the smoke from all these wildfires. It's just crazy. Yeah, from what? Nova Scotia, out Quebec, around here. Yeah. Northern Ontario, like. Everywhere around us is on fire right now. This is crazy. Come on, guys, get out there. <laughs> help, help your brothers out. Oh, 50. So we're down, Pete. Yeah, so we're down. Out here. And we don't want to get a ticket in Marmara. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I guess we're turning down here. Uh, you're supposed to turn right, it says. <laughs> we landed in Marmara. Met John and John. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good trip coming out this way, and uh, that's the reason we're here, you know. I uh, want to upgrade the uh, T-Cat, and that right there has got the heart for the transplant, I do believe. These fellas are nice enough to uh, <laughs> be on camera, too. We don't have to sign a waiver, just got to have a cool beer. So, uh, you're saying is uh, your uh, buddy there had a little bit of a rough night on that there, eh? Yeah, he wasn't moving too fast the next day. <laughs> <laughs> just T-boned a car with that, eh? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's my buddy. Pew, going up. A little bit of damage on there. Oh, yeah. Ripped her right out of there. Jeez, his butthole must have been puckered. The flying didn't bother him at all. It's just the landing. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's, that's what they say. It's not the fall that hurts. It's the landing, right? Yeah. We got, this is a 2017 137 Sidewinder. Not too concerned about the cosmetic issues. Uh, main thing I'm concerned about is just the engine, you know, and, you know, the turbo, the wiring harness, all that stuff. So, uh, I think it should be a good donor. You say she sparks up, eh? Turn the key, it should. Check the kill switch, turn the key. 
Let's give her a go here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it could be sitting in the bottom of the ocean for a year or two. She'll still go. Oh, yeah. It's 7,700 on there. <laughs> That's a nice one. She's a beauty. Well, I gotta say, there's a bit of damage on there, but it looks pretty good to me. I think I'm gonna take her home as long as uh, that all adds up when he goes and counts that. <laughs> Hopefully he comes back with a couple of beers too. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> if he does, there might be a bargaining chip there. Christina remembered. She's got the swag bag. <laughs> There should be a hoodie in there, a t-shirt in there, and some stickers. Yeah, what do I owe you for that? You got to stick them on everything you own, man. <laughs> Make sure you put one on his too. <laughs> Come on back a little more. That'd be good. Not only is John... Uh, fairly uh, reasonable to deal with. He also brought out some refreshments. So before we do the real heavy lifting, we gotta do some heavy lifting. Yeah. <laughs> Two, one. Good. And you guys should be grabbing here on the side. I don't know. That's a, yeah, I'd rather grab here. Yep. Oh. Oh. Even using a, a cat strap on the cat chassis there. <laughs> well, it's all loaded up and we're heading out because he's had a bear, apparently. <laughs> so, we got to load up. We're taking it home with us. And I got to say, it's been great dealing with you. you this too. is a Facebook Marketplace deal where you call a guy up and you say, Hey, I'm interested. He held it for me. Didn't have to give him any money down, nothing. Our word was our word, showed up, and we're taking her home, so. <laughs> All good. <laughs> That's a good. I wish he did have more beer, though. We don't really want to leave. The stories are flowing. <laughs> so, yeah, we got to get this home and uh, have a beer and think about what we're going to do with it. <laughs> so, we're leaving Marmara. <laughs> we got a... We got a bounty of goods. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, there's a sidewinder in our back seat, or some of it anyway. <laughs> Rest of it's in the back of the truck. You know, it was uh, really nice uh, meeting uh, those two fellas, both Johns. When I first got there, I was like, my name's John. And the other guy's like, my name's John. I was like, John and John. It's like that show, uh, what was what was that show? <laughs> Daryl and my other brother, Daryl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great group of guys, you know. Uh, and honest, you know, that uh, the deal was exactly what he said, you know, I showed up, no bull, uh, no bull talk, <laughs> you know, and uh, I'm happy with my purchase, and uh, I think uh, Red Next Dirty Hands has a new, uh, new fan, new friend, so yes. uh, thank you, John, and uh, now we gotta get home safe and sound. Oh, Moonlight Motel. Oh, jeez. It's about an hour uh, ride home. We should uh, maybe they run by the minute. <laughs> we'll be out in five. Oh, that's what she said. You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> no road trips complete without a stop to Timmy's. <laughs> Mr. Tim Horton, check that out. All right, well we made it back safe and sound, and now it's parked in the shop with the rest of its family. You know, looking pretty good. So I guess now that it's here, it's time to uh, start drinking or thinking about what we're going to do. But yeah, the whole point of this is to transplant the motor and everything from this fella into the T-Cat. So we're going to have to think of a name for the T-Cat too, because, you know, if I'm rocking your mama, <laughs> we need a good name idea for this one. So I don't know. I'm thinking, you know, so fat. 
<laughs> you know, because your mama's so fat, right? <laughs> or maybe cat's ass. That's not bad. You know, Sidewinder Power T cat, you know, punching lots of boost and hitting some serious speeds. She'd beat the cat's ass. Or get Christina on it, the cat woman. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> or Tommy and all those boys might be scared of it, so we'll call it Scared Cat. <laughs> Anywho, we gotta, you know, we're gonna have to start with this thing. She's a good runner, and when I did fire it up over there, I mean, it starts no problem. Uh, it does have a bit of an exhaust leak. That's just because he doesn't have the muffler bolted on there. He stripped out the gears and everything from the chain case, but I mean, you know, she's turned key. <laughs> So yeah, she is a runner runner, perfect donor for this fella right here. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty proud of this one. It was working pretty good, but it's got the uh, the Vector three-cylinder, you know, carbureted. And the problem with this one is, you know, those newer 998s are closed deck blocks, so the cylinders don't really move around, expand, so they hold the boost a lot more versus this block. I mean, I do have the Corolla rods and everything in here, but, uh, you know, I was running so much boost, you know. A lot of guys, you know, ah, 20 pounds. Yeah, no, I was running like 30, 40 pounds of boost on this thing. I constantly blowing the carburetors off. I grenaded all the uh, plastic caps, so I made those aluminum caps for it. And, uh, you know, I just keep pushing the limits, running the high boost on her. And, you know, that's uh, that was an MPI, I think, 190 kit off of Viper some guy had. And I put it on here and, you know, we're maxing everything out on this. And uh, I think what happened is, you know, <laughs> the few times that I popped the caps and blew the carburetors and the intake and everything off of there, I, uh, the one cylinder went lean and ended up... Uh, hitting in one of the the exhaust valves and it was eating the top of the head there so i'd have to put a new head on this anyway but i figure we know that those sidewinder motors can handle some boosts so why not do the pluck it out plopper in there it'll bolt right in i might have to make a new intake and exhaust or whatever but uh, not only do i want to do that but i want to upgrade that too with the uh, yeah we got a we got a bigger snail over there. That's a 50 mil turbo versus the stock Sidewinder turbo. So you know what? I think I want to uh, plop that in there. Maybe throw a set of rods, head studs, and everything in that motor. Plop it in here, and let's go for 400 horsepower or more. I mean, you know, we were running a what was it? A 330 horse race tune in Yamama and hit 140 mile an hour, and that thing's basically like stock engine setup and everything i don't have head studs or nothing in that so i mean if we prepare an engine a little bit and put it in this chassis that one there i mean it was running 134 mile an hour uh on the lake there once with uh mclainsky ripping it and he wasn't even coming straight at the gun so i'm sure it was damn near close to 140 if it was on, you know if mclainsky was heading towards us not away from us but uh you know what we can't live in the woulda coulda shouldas we just only know what we got so i know that's always been fast but i think we can make her faster and then you know i'll still have this motor i'll put the put it back together put another head on it and then uh, maybe transplant that into a smart car or a buggy or a boat i don't know something <laughs> throw some ideas out there leave a comment what do you think uh, you know i'm definitely going to be putting the sidewinder motor in this but uh, you know what would you like to see that in? After having a few beers and then getting this thing home and having a beer or two and thinking about it. Some dumb things happen when we get into the beers. Here, I thought I bought this as a donor to swap the motor in here, but apparently, no, I bought it. McLeansky needs a new toy. <laughs> Look like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> but yeah, I got to say it was a pretty good deal to find that on Marketplace. You know, John was a reasonable fella. You know, I've been looking around for a motor setup for a Sidewinder for a little bit now. And, uh, you know, guys usually want four grand just for the motor stripped down with no wiring harness, no throttle bodies, turbo, any of that. So, you know what? The price was more than right for this. And, uh, you know, now we can we got an idea. We can build something. And not only that, I got a tunnel with an ownership, so I ain't going to need that. So if any of you need a tunnel for a Sidewinder with an ownership, hit me up.
Oh yeah, John's a great fellow to deal with there. Christina and I had a great time there talking to him and uh, picking that up. And uh, thank you, John. We're going to put her to good use. She's going to a good home. You know, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, we didn't really get to wrench on anything today, but we've <laughs> got a new addition to the family. So we're going to be wrenching on something. So I think it's going to turn out pretty good. You know, uh, if you got any ideas for the new name for the build, uh, we're definitely going to need to have something that goes along the lines of your mama. So, <laughs> you know, I trust you. You'll come up with some good ones. I know it. But, uh, you know, as always, thanks for tuning in. We enjoy the support and, you know, have a good time making these videos. And uh, leave a comment, hit the like button, share it. And as always, take it easy. Bye.